Hello and welcome to Scrapping on the Fly. My name is Kristen and I am here with day 24 of 30 Days of Sketches with Christie's Beautiful Life. And here is the lovely sketch that we're using today and it is from Dolly Boyd and it has some, uh, just one picture and some, um, looks like torn paper or it could be cut but the prompt from Dotty About Flare is Distress Edges, so I got my Tim Holtz Distressor, and I do end up pulling some Distress Inks in. I have this one picture of me looking like a um, very short person behind my yard sign that my school brought me. And I've decided to use this Vintage Varsity, because it is school-related, but it's not... Um, and uh, I didn't really want it to be... Our school colors are red, white, and blue, and I didn't really want to just stick with that. So I really like that this has all those colors and then some. And then I also brought this Quarantined by Simple Stories kit in. Um, I knew I'd want to use some of the stickers, but I thought I might also want to use some of the uh, paper or cut aparts. So I have used that a little bit for a couple layouts, and this is in 2020, so... I also brought in this Distress Spray um, stain, and it's Barn Door, but it is a lot redder than I expected. And I do have two blues, but the only one I use is Faded Jean, and I exchange the other one with Fired Brick. This is my flare. It's got some cactus and stuff on it, and then I have a ladybug, and I wasn't sure which one I was going to use, so um, I will only use one on my layout. So I have all these fabulous goodies, this great picture, my distress tool, and an amazing sketch by Dolly Boyd. So let's see how this goes. So I have these two pieces of scrap paper, and my goal for 2022 <laughs> is to use scraps on every layout. So I definitely accomplished that. I use um, that floral right there, uh, which is a scrap, and then I will bring in at least two more three more actually scraps in a way. So I just tear this. I don't necessarily mean or need for my layout to be exactly like the sketch. So the tear lines or uh, the size of the paper pieces that are on the top right and left don't necessarily need to be the same. Um, like I said, my school colors are red and blue and we, you know, accent with white. And so I wanted to incorporate those colors, but not just make it all red, white, and blue. So that's why I really love this Vintage Varsity. Plus it had a lot of things in the embellishment kit um, that came with it that were perfect for what I wanted to do. So I have already pulled a couple things and they're sitting out of view. You can't see. So I distress it with my Tim Holtz and then I distress it again with the distress ink. And the first one I use is right persimmon, persimmon, persimmon. <laughs> and I tested it on a little piece of scrap so I would see if I liked it on this paper in particular. And I did. It is red enough and with a hint of pinkish to it. And that is pretty much the color of the um, flowers that are on this paper. So I tack that down and then I take this hexagon paper and I'm going to pretty much do the same thing. I'm just going to tear almost all the way down to the bottom and then just make the whole thing kind of jagged and wonky. In the sketch, it's more flowy, um, like a smooth tear or even possibly a cut, but I really liked the torn edge and since I'm going to be distressing, it didn't matter. So I did the exact same thing here. I distressed the entire inside and bottom. I didn't distress the outside um, and then inked it with that same ripe persimmon. <laughs> you all can make fun of me because I cannot say some words I suppose. Add too many syllables in there. So I love the fact that all of these go together even though there is no blue in that pattern on the left. I will bring some in with the ink splatters a little later and um, an embellishment. So there will be blue on the entire layout as well as the red. So I'm trying to decide if I like my picture up at the top where it is in the sketch or if I want to flip flop that and put it down on the bottom. And because that's going to be all um, roughed up and I don't want it to look wonky. So I decide I will get some um, foam 
and I thought it was fun foam, but it's not. It has no adhesive on the back, so I had to adhese it. But first, I matte it on black. I felt like there is black on this um, hexagon paper, and I'm going to bring a little bit of a black in down in the embellishment cluster in the bottom. So I go ahead and matte it on a maybe an eighth of an inch of a border, but leave that ripped part. This is from my layout that I did on day 20 or day 21 maybe. Um, so I go ahead and leave that and then I ink the bottom and I don't want to ink the bottom with the blue again since it, I mean with the red because I've already done that. I wanted a little bit something different. So I used my Distress Ink uh, Tumbled Glass and because there's so much white on there, I knew the blue would still show up even though it was going to be on that blue rainbowy kind of paper. And I love that paper. I'm glad I have one more full sheet of that blue rainbow paper because I'm about to do some rainbow work. So I used some double-sided um, tape on my fun foam or my unfun foam, but I also add some of my Nuvo Deluxe Adhesive just because it's going on this curved paper. It's going on some ink and I just, it's just better safe than sorry is my motto when it comes to scrapbooking. So I get that in there and I want it to be flush with the top so I turn it to the side so that I can eyeball where it goes and then I push it down so that the tape will adhese and then push down in the middle so that the glue will also get stuck down. I decide I want to put I think I'm going to go ahead and use my um the cactus um washi not washi good gravy the cactus dotty about flare I love this little go team banner because this is my school and um I love that they delivered not only signs to all our fifth graders that were graduating, but also to the entire staff. Our two principals hand-delivered them and put them in our yard without us knowing. So, well, I knew because I ordered them, but that's not the point. Um, so it was uh, really special, and I was very grateful to be able to display my school pride. So those are the embellishments down there in the bottom. Those all came from this Vintage Varsity Paper Kit from the Paper Studio, and I love those I mean they used to be ten dollars and you can get them on sale for five but for five and then they marked them down to five ninety nine so you could get them on sale for like four dollars or three four dollars and um at some of these I got on clearance for like a dollar and a half and you get a ton of stickers and embellishments the pack of embellishments on here it was great so right now I am pulling off all the stickers that I'm interested in using from the simple stories quarantined and I pull that, you can see over there, I'm putting that on some um, uh, acetate. And you can see over there that I have put that quarantined, it's in white and black. But, you know, while we were all kind of quarantining, I wasn't in quarantine and I really didn't want to put that on there. I did have to get quarantined at a later date, but not at this point. <laughs> it was over a year later because this is May of 2020 and I did not have to quarantine because of COVID until August 2021. <sighs> so I pull this cut apart sheet out of that Simple Stories kit and pull this really cute heart with lines on it. And I love this and the reds almost perfectly match. Um, the teal kind of matches and I'm bringing in a couple other teal things so it will match better. The pink matches. It's just a really good fit. So I was really excited that it was going to work. So I inked up the edges with my black soot because I wanted a little bit of difference and I also wanted to bring the black down to the bottom. And then I put it, I'm about to put it down and I think, nah, I really need something. Plus in the sketch, it's like there's a little piece of paper on top of a... Um, another embellishment so I get this other another scrap yay me and it's like a grid paper and I love that I'm bringing lots of shapes into this like the grid and the hexagons the florals the rainbows I'm quite excited and I love how this is looking so I go ahead and ink the outside of that with the black soot as well and then I'm going to put it down now in the sketch it's not kind of looks like it's almost right in the middle but there's a huge floral next to it so I really decided I wanted to move it over a little um, from right in the in the middle of the page so I get it down right there and then I just start building my cluster 
and I am really growing in my cluster abilities because I used to really struggle with that. So I put this go team down here and I don't remember if I do it. Um, yep, I do it right away. There's a finger and it's pointing and I kind of feel like I'd rather it not be pointing off the page. And so then I decided to have it coming off on the left side so that finger is pointing at me. Um, so I put this little binder clip up at the top and then this globe, I work at a Spanish immersion school. So the globe is a big part of our, um, our logo and everything. The little light bulb on my sign is actually a globe and I add this little, um, cactus, which will help bring the cactus theme that is up on the Dottie about flair in. And it says, let's stick together. And I love that because it's super fitting. Um, and then I take, let's see, um, I've got a little word phrase over here and it's in a peachy color that kind of matches the peachy in the, um, hexagons. And one of them says, what day is it? And the other one says flatten the curve. And then I took a little yellow one up in the top, uh, right next to the binder clip that says what? And it's got a question mark and that little, um, thumbtack which I think is super cute and it's got that red in it so I went ahead and brought that in I really love the way this cluster turned out it is so cute not that I am like patting myself on the back or anything but I just I'm getting really excited about learning how to cluster because layering things on top of each other seems so wasteful to me before um, because you can't see things and I feel like you have to see it all to get the full effect of it, but really you just don't. So, um, this COVID, it says COVID-19 and it's got a hash mark through it, like no. And so finally I realized this is the perfect place for it. I don't know why I tried to stick it up here on the top. Um, and then I love this pencil. So it's got that red and the pink as well. And I tuck it into where it looks like it's almost about to write on the paper. And I love that. And then I am adding, um, oh yeah, the word phrases and stuff. And then I also have this, um, uh, cootie, <laughs> the COVID-19 cootie. I've already tucked that in. I cut it in half, put half of it up by the picture, by the flare, and the other half down next to the globe. And then, like I said, I'm taking this quarantined. I'm thinking about putting it on my picture. I'm thinking about where I want to put it. And then I realize I just don't want that on there. Like I said, I was not quarantined per se. I was still going to work and safely going to the store, you know, things like that. But we were working from home and everything. And so, you know, it just didn't really fit. So I get a couple of hearts on here. One's got like a heartbeat and then there's a blue heart and I tuck the blue down to the bottom. So it brings the blue that's in the paper from the top down to the bottom. And then I also decide I'm going to go ahead and put this straight on here. It says we're in this together. It brings that teal that's in the go team and in the hearts and everything all in there. So I feel like it really looks good together. And then I pull one more little heart to put up here with the other heart beat heart. And I look back to see if there's anything else I want to add. I don't think there is. So then I decide I'm going to start with my inks. I start with the fired brick. I cover the flare and my picture. And that's really the biggest thing. I don't want it um, on those two things. And then I do it on both sides. And then I come back with the blue and also add faded jean. And then I think I'm pretty much done. Like, I love the way this layout turned out. It's super simple. It didn't take me very long maybe 45 minutes. And that was with like picking everything and getting it all together. So I'm really excited. Um, I do take this black, um, creative memories ink, um, and trace around the go team. Cause I felt like that white was disappearing into the paper. So I went ahead and outlined that. And then I think I just, it needs to be put on cardstock cause it's very thin, but for now, while it's still wet, I just put a piece of cardboard under there so I could lift it up and show it to you. So here is a sketch. I hope you all will go down in the um, the description box below and follow the hop. There are so many people playing. Um, this was, sketch was created for this um, hop by Dolly and she is one of the fabulous people that is hopping along. So I hope that you all will check them out and I hope you all come back and see me again and come back for day 25 tomorrow. 
And I also hope that you all will comment, like, subscribe if you haven't. And those of you who have, I really appreciate it. I am loving sharing my craft with you and I would love for you to share yours with me. So have a great night and I hope you get a chance to do something you love with someone you love. Happy scrapping.